This next scene uh, uses some technology, and um, it's kind of a hybrid scene from the Scottish play by William Shakespeare. Hide thee hither, that I may pour my spirits in thine ear. What is your tidings? 
The king comes here tonight. The Hawkeye says I asked her not with him, who were so in the form of preparation. So please you, it is true. Our day is coming. One of my fellows has this feet of For almost dead for breath, it's scarcely more than would make up his medicine. Give him tiny, he brings great news. The raven himself is horse that croaks the fatal entrance of Duncan under my battlements. Come, you spirits that tend on mortal thoughts, unsex me here, and fill me from the crown to the toe top full of direst cruelty. Make thick my blood. Stop at the excess and passes remorse that no compunctious visitings of nature shake my fell purpose, nor keep peace between the effect and it. Come to my woman's breasts and take my milk for gall, you murdering minsters. Wherever in your sightless substances you wait on nature's mischief. Come, thick night, and pall thee in the dunnest smoke of hell, that my keen knife see not the wound it makes, nor heaven peep through the blanket of darks cry, Hold! Hold! Great longs, worthy corridor, greater than both by the all hail hereafter. Thy letters are transported beyond the great present, I feel now the future My dearest love, Duncan comes here now. And when goes hence? Tomorrow is the purpose. Oh, never shall sun at morrow see. Your face, my fame, as as a book where men may read strange matters. To beguile the time, look like the time by welcoming your eye, your hand, your tongue. Look like it as if flower would be certain under. He that's been must be provided for, and you shall put this next great business in my dispatch, <coughs> which shall to all our nights and days to come give solely sovereign sway and masterdom. Speak further. Only look up clear to alter favor ever is to fear. Leave all the rest to me. 